Today I want to talk a little bit about the new rust resistant heat treated line of cast iron from Lodge that is currently being sold at Macy's. I read an article that Lodge was coming out with these skillets and I think about five minutes later I was in the car uh, on the way to Macy's to pick up my first one. Uh, I bought the 11 inch and I brought it home and I liked it so much that I went back and got the 9 inch. Most of you guys that have seen my other videos know that I like to apply my own seasoning so I've gone ahead and stripped these down and uh, before I do I'm going to go ahead and do a dishwasher test so those of you guys at home can see that you can put these in the dishwasher and they won't be harmed. This is my Lodge 12 inch skillet and I stripped the skillet for the purpose of this video. This skillet was stripped last night, 24 hours later and you can see some rust starting to build on the skillet. Hopefully you can see that in the video. But only after 24 hours, this skillet is starting to form a layer of rust. It's a really light surface layer. These skillets, however, uh, one was stripped three days ago. The other was stripped two days ago. So the rust resistance is definitely working so far, but we will see how it works once these come out of the dishwasher. And here they are, fresh out of the dishwasher. Not only did I let them go through the dishwasher cycle, I also let them dry in the dishwasher in the heat. And there's no trace of rust whatsoever. So, it is what they say it is. Rust resistant. I'm gonna let them sit overnight and just see what they do, see if I see any rust in the morning. I doubt that I will, but uh, pretty neat stuff. Okay, it's 24 hours later, and um, I let these sit out overnight in the open air in the kitchen. I just wanted to see if any type of rust whatsoever would develop on the surface. And you can see they're still totally clean. What I'm gonna do is instead of moving on to seasoning, I'm gonna go ahead and put them back in the dishwasher again and give them a second run through. I'll let it dry in the heat in the dishwasher and even let it sit in there for a few hours just to see if anything develops whatsoever. All right, these skillets have been through the dishwashing cycle again, both washed and dried in the dishwasher. And they were also allowed to sit in the dishwasher for maybe about three hours. But as you can see, not even a hint of rust. Still a nice and silver looking color. This one's doing well too. Let's get them seasoned and put to use. To season these skillets, I'm gonna use a new product called Crisby. Crisby is a blend of soybean oil, palm oil, and beeswax. I've been using it for a good number of months now, and it's a product that I really, really like, so I can't wait to test it out on these new heat-treated skillets. The first step in seasoning with Crisby is to heat your skillets in a 200-degree oven. I'm going to heat these for about 15 minutes or so. All right, today I'm going to be using apple pie scent at Crisby. Crisby comes in a lot of different scents. Apple pie just happens to be my favorite, so uh, the skillet is hot, and I'm just going to rub this on the skillet like so. And I'm using a fresh rag today, so I'm gonna use a little bit more Crispy than I normally would, just so I can get some in my rag. I'm gonna go and sp spread it all around. All right, I'm also gonna get this handle. It's looking pretty good. Now we're gonna do the back. You can find Crispy at crispypuck.com. Just go there, my good friend Bradley Stewart will take great care of you. He's a great guy, makes a great product. A lot of people have been really happy with this. Get down in there like that. Really beautiful skillet. Lodge did a nice job on this design. Really like it. The handle, for me anyway, is uh, really comfortable. Nice weight on this skillet. It's a little bit lighter. Um, this heat treated line, a little bit thinner than their others, uh, but I really like it. All right, now that that's on there, I'm gonna wipe it all off. I use these Scott Blue Shot paper towels. They're really absorbent, and they don't leave any lint. So make sure we get that design wiped out really good, as best we can anyway. All right, we're gonna flip it over and wipe it all out. All right, that's looking pretty good. Like I said, wipe it really, really good. Especially if you're doing this on a smooth vintage skillet or something like that, uh, you don't want your oil to pool. And so wiping it out really, really good will give you a nice smooth black seasoning. 
This is going to go in the oven. It'll be cranked up to 400 degrees for one hour. Okay, this is after one seasoning with Crispy. Uh, you can see Crispy gives them a nice finish uh, even after one seasoning. Let's look at the inside of that. They look really good. They'll darken up as I season them a couple more times and even more so after they're used, but uh, these look really good. So, I'm going to preheat my oven to 200, get these skillets up to 200 degrees, and we're going to do another seasoning at 400 degrees for an hour. A lot of questions are coming in about this new line of uh, Lodge cast iron. Um, one thing that I've heard repeatedly is that, you know, is this made in China? No, it is not. All Lodge cast iron, all the regular cast iron is made right here in America. So there you have it made in the USA. This design was made in-house by Lodge and once again it's sold exclusively by Macy's. There's been a lot of speculation on what Lodge did to get these skills to be rust resistant. Uh, they didn't add any metal to them, any new metal like chrome or nickel. Um, the chemistry of the iron wasn't changed at all. They're put into an oven a large oven that uh, heats the skillets and um, what happens is the molecules on the surface of the iron kind of rearrange themselves uh, in a way that inhibits bonding with oxygen and this makes it rust resistant so there wasn't anything funky done or anything like that that's my story I'm sticking to it and that's the story that I got straight from Lodge so all right, uh, this is after the second seasoning. You can see the skillets look really great. Uh, they're starting to develop a nice sheen. They're looking really good. Can't wait to cook in them, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get these up to 200 degrees and do my last seasoning. All right, that looks good. So into the oven for one hour at 400. Okay, this is after the third seasoning, and as you can see, Crispy did an amazing job on these. Uh, they have a beautiful sheen to them after just three coats. And uh, let's check out the inside. But really nice job. I'm really happy with them. Uh, I love this beautiful new design. I love the low sides on this. So if you get a chance, go to your local Macy's and just check them out. If you'd like to know more about Crispy, visit them on their website at crispypuck.com. Thanks for watching.